Hi friends, we are headed into Dollar Tree today. I wanna to show you my absolute favorite finds for the bathroom that will get you organized on a budget. I'm so glad to have you here today. My name is Shannon. I wanna welcome you here to my channel, The Daily DIYer. And I also wanna thank Acorn TV for sponsoring today's video. So let's head on into Dollar Tree and grab a few items that were brand new and I'm excited to show those to you. We're gonna use those, flip them, DIY them just a little bit. It doesn't take much to give them a high-end look and a Pottery Barn vibe and feel. So let's go ahead and get started right now. Our first project, we're gonna take some inspiration from this Pottery Barn Dream tub mat that you can see retails for $69.50, but even at $55, we're gonna make this for so much cheaper. We're gonna grab one of these plain bath mats from Dollar Tree. They are $1.25 now with the price increase. If you live in an area like mine that has seen that, but I definitely think for $1.25, these bath mats are worth it. They're pretty good quality. And to mimic that Pottery Barn look, we're gonna give this one a monogram in the center. I am using some stencil material and I used my Cricut machine to cut this out. However, if you don't have a vinyl machine, I will show you some other options here in just a second. We're basically just gonna add our stencil right to the center of this bath mat, measuring to make sure everything is level and even and right in the middle where we want it. Now, another option is Dollar Tree carries contact paper. They carry vinyl and you can just draw a monogram on one of these, use an X-Acto knife to cut out your monogram and use that as a stencil instead. Super simple if you're just doing one letter like this. Now we're gonna grab some fabric paint. This is a great paint because it's not going to rub off. Whenever it gets wet, it's going to stay on our bath mat no matter if it's wet or dry, which I love. And we're just basically adding one coat of that onto the bath mat. And I like to remove my stencil while it's still wet so I get a nice, crisp, clean line. And then we're gonna let that sit overnight so it can dry and I think we have a pretty close rendering of our Pottery Barn inspired bath mat, but at a fraction of the cost. And like I said, I wanna thank Acorn TV for sponsoring today's video. This TV that you see right behind me here is right in front of my crafting space. So I actually turn Acorn TV on through my Roku on this TV while I'm crafting. And if you've never heard of Acorn TV before, you absolutely should check it out. It is the largest commercial-free British streaming service that offers compelling stories, exclusive premieres, and originals that you won't find anywhere else. There's always something new to discover on Acorn TV. It has hundreds of exclusive shows from around the world, including award-winning series across genres, including mysteries, dramas, comedies, and so much more. My favorites just happen to be more of the documentaries. They have a series on there called Tales of Irish Castles. I have enjoyed that so much. And like I said, I stream it on my Roku, but you can also stream it from so many other different avenues, from apps to streaming services like Apple, Android devices, Amazon, Fire TV, Google Comcast, and so much more too. And then there's a couple other series I would highly recommend checking out too. One is Under the Vines, which has a setting in a vineyard in rural New Zealand. Very cool show. And they also have one called Queens of Mystery. And this one, if you love mysteries, this one also has a little bit of a fairy tale twist to it. So highly recommend those. Check those out. But what I really love most about Acorn TV is that it's all commercial free. It's only $5.99 a month. With Acorn TV, there's always something new to discover. Try Acorn TV free for 30 days by going to acorn.tv and use code DAILYDIYER. And make sure to use all lowercase letters when you're using that promotion. I will make sure to link all the information down in the description box below. And now let's get back to creating a high-end decorative and also organization piece for the bathroom. I fell in love with this gorgeous marble bathroom set. And if you purchased the three pieces we're gonna create, you'd spend nearly $70 even purchasing them on sale at Pottery Barn. By using finds from Dollar Tree, we're gonna spend less than five. 
So first we're gonna grab two of the lotion pumps and also one of these toothbrush holders. We're gonna give this guy a completely different purpose, which you'll see here shortly. And I'm also gonna show you how to create your own faux marbling. But first, the thing that stood out to me the most on the Pottery Barn version were the pumps at the top were black, not white. So I use some painters tape taped off the bottom and we're just going to spray paint the tops i'm using some chalkboard spray paint but obviously this is not going to be used as a chalkboard i just really love the matte finish that this spray paint gives and then you'll want to seal it with a couple coats of clear matte spray paint too now for that faux marbling technique. You're gonna need a few thin paint brushes and also a bigger one for a blending brush. You'll need a light gray and dark gray paint. I love chalk paint. It's gonna stick to our ceramic really well. We're also gonna need some water. That is the key here. So we're gonna be painting on with the light gray paint first. Little, I wanna call them tree branches. So if you can think of like a main tree branch with some small ones coming off of it. That's what we want for the veining. Come in with a darker gray paint in just a few little spots to give it some depth and then go over it with a wet blending brush that's going to kind of marbleize our paint and then tap on it with a paper towel to blend it even more. We're gonna go ahead and repeat that process on all four sides of our pieces. And also don't forget the top. Once they're dry, hit them with a couple coats of that clear matte spray paint to seal those in as well. And then once that's dry, you can add those pumps back onto the top. And I think we did a pretty amazing job of getting a close look to the originals. And then here's another great hack and tip. You can use the glass cutting boards from Dollar Tree as little trivets in your bathroom. I like putting these down so the soap doesn't get on my marble countertop. And it also kind of looks nice underneath our new pumps as well. Super duper cute and a really easy DIY that saved us lots and lots of money. Now, what about that toothbrush holder? Well, I'm gonna show you that here for this project. I have this ledge in our bathroom and I've always thought it would be pretty to add something on there just for some interest. So I found these really beautiful votive candle holders at Dollar Tree. They have really pretty wood bases on them. You can find black as well. I decided on the natural wood color so it'd be a little bit more soft in the bathroom. Just leaving them in those stands and adding one to each side of the ledge. And then in the middle, I'm actually gonna be using that toothbrush holder as more of a vase. So I sat that right in the middle and I'm using some Dollar Tree greenery to put a pop of color and also a nice natural element, even though they're faux, <laughs> into the bathroom. I'm not the best gardener and it's winter time, so faux is the way to go any time of year for me, to be honest. These are also Dollar Tree tea lights that are battery operated, adding one to the little candle holders. These you can't really see very well during the daytime, but at nighttime, it adds such a beautiful glow to this space. Loving it so much. Wish I would have done this such a long time ago. And the marble gives it such a high-end look. So I have to also bring your attention to a sign over our sink that says, wash your hands. Maybe you notice it. It's actually a knockoff from a hearth and hands sign that you can get at Target, but I made it with Dollar Tree supplies. So make sure to head over to that video where I show you how to create that. I'll link it up in the iCard and down in the description box below. So check that one out after this video. Next. This is an amazing find at Dollar Tree. I want these all over my house. Every bathroom, in the kitchen, it's an over the cabinet towel bar and I wanna show you an organization hack with them. You can see on the back, they even have rubber bumpers on the back so it protects your cabinets. And can you believe this? It's telescoping or telescoping, something like that. It gets bigger, so you can adjust it depending on the size of your cabinet, and it will actually sit on the inside or the outside of your cabinet. So I want to show you what it looked like on the outside so you have some extra space to hang a hand towel if you're short on space, 
or you know if you have a hair dryer you could hang it from there too or you could even put it on the inside of your cabinet you can see the doors close easily but you can also hang your spray bottle so your cleaning supplies from this it kind of frees up some more space inside your cabinet and you never see it the little silver pieces at the top kind of blend into my cabinet which i like too so keep your eyes open for those at Dollar Tree. And these are a staple piece. I use these all over my house too. And you can find these usually year round at Dollar Tree. They're over the door hooks, so they're larger. They're not necessarily small enough to fit in a cabinet unless you have a pretty big cabinet, but they work over the door. Or this is one of my favorite hacks with them is just adding it over your shower curtain rod. So I did feature this in a previous organization hacks video and I'll link that up in the iCards too. So if you're looking for more organization ideas, my favorite ones, I'll link that video at the end of this video too. You just put this right over your shower curtain rod and you can hang towels on it. It's great if you are short on wall space. You can even hang it on the inside of your shower to hold washcloths and scrubbies and things like that too. Such an easy hack idea. Now next, let's talk toilet paper storage. So Dollar Tree has these paper towel rolls or holders. And yes, you can use them for paper towels, but you can also use them for toilet paper. I thought I would make a taller one so that way it would not only be taller, but it would also hold more rolls of toilet paper that way and be a little bit more space saving. So what I'm doing is I bought two of these. I'm taking some pretty heavy duty wire cutters and I am crimping down on both sides of the tower part. And basically what that does is it gives it little crimp marks where you can then easily bend that hook back and forth and break it off from the base and the bottom. So now we have an extension. So what I'm gonna be doing is using a combination of super glue and electrical tape. You can find both of these items at Dollar Tree too. I am using some gloves so I don't squish any of that glue out onto my skin as I'm working. We're going to be adding that longer piece onto the top with the super glue and then wrapping it with the electrical tape. And then back outside we go to also spray paint this with the same chalkboard spray paint, two coats of that, and then two coats of that clear matte spray. Again, that's gonna help hide some of that electrical tape we have going on in the middle and kind of make it blend a little better. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our toilet paper. So I made mine to be tall enough to hold five rolls of toilet paper. You could make this even taller if you needed to. Do you ever go to Dollar Tree and you find items and you're like, I cannot believe this is a Dollar Tree. It's so nice. Well, these bottles are definitely in that category for me. They have nice glass tops on them, just really nice bottles in general, but we're gonna take them to the next level by adding some gold leafing. This is my new favorite thing to do, and all you do is add some adhesive onto the bottom. You let them dry and kind of tack up for about 10 minutes, and then you can add your gold leafing. You can find this stuff at craft stores, but you can also find it on Amazon too, and I'll link some down in the description box for you to check out. But all it is, is it's so simple. You just add this pretty metallic foiling, very, very delicate. You just kind of lay it in the adhesive, fold it over onto the bottom, tap it on until all that adhesive is covered. And then you'll come in with a dry, soft bristle brush and go around all of the foiling and kind of tap off any extra that was hanging on and didn't make it into the adhesive. Then you can also seal this in with some Mod Podge or some spray paint to make sure it stays intact. But how beautiful is this? I went ahead and did that to the other two bottles, which gave me a beautiful set of three. We're gonna be adding these as little vessels for the bathroom. This tray is also from Dollar Tree, if you can believe that. I'm just adding that to a shelf and then adding my little gilded bottles onto that. I'm gonna be adding some Q-tips and cotton balls in here and then one left open for future items I might need it for. Thank you. 
These next containers are from a recent Dollar Tree haul video entitled Watch This Before You Go Back to Dollar Tree. You definitely want to watch that video. I'll link that up above and in the description box below too. This was one of my absolutely worth it finds. They have these lids that you can take right off. They remind me of a candy store. Uh, dish, but we're going to use these in the bathroom. The tops, I really wanted them to look more like metal than plastic. So again, same chalkboard spray paint. We're doing two coats of that and also two coats of that clear matte spray to seal it all in. Luckily, the stickers on the side of these containers were easy to remove. As we know, not everything at Dollar Tree has stickers on them that are easy to take off. And we are going to be using these containers for some bath salt and also some sea sponges. These little wooden scoops will also take your accessories to the next level. Add that to your little container and it just looks so fancy. I'll link those down below too. You can find those on Amazon along with these sponges and just a nice little container to be able to easily grab things like this out when you need them. Then you can go ahead and add those lids back on, which look so much nicer now that we've spray painted them. I also added those onto these shelves and also put some of my hand towels and my face towels up there and a little basket and it just kind of all rounded out this look. If you're looking for more organization ideas, I'll have videos for that popping up on your screen. You can click over and watch next. Please hit that thumbs up button. That helps out my channel so, so much. If you're new, subscribe so you can come back for more DIYs, organization, and inspiration here every single week. Thanks so much for watching today, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.